So we looked up a little bit more on our poor little chicken legs. You know, the funky feet that we showed that's blackened, he almost calloused yeah. and peeling and underneath on both feet. He's that way, poor little guy. Yeah, thank you. See, it almost looks kind of sore in certain spots. So we got to reading. If your chicken's feet are peeling, scaling, because their healthy scales should be laying down flat and smooth because his were peeling up and blackened and calloused, he's already flaking up. The treatment, um, we went out actually off the chicken chick and lift up. You're supposed to dunk their feet into gasoline just for a second and out. We had been doing it up to the leg part. Let them air dry and then cover it with petroleum jelly, or no, sorry, not, &D. not petroleum jelly, A and D, because the gasoline is going to kill the leg mites it has. It's called scaly leg mites. The gasoline will kill, and then the A and D will smother and soothe, kind of help with promote with healing. You're to do it for three days. First day, you dip and slather. Second day, you just slather. And third day, you dip and slather again. And your treatment's done. We're on our third day. We're on our third day. So he gets dipped. The first time this poor bird got uh, washed yeah. with a toothbrush and a uh, and, and soap and then Vaseline. Yeah, our first uh, Googling said that you're supposed to do some Dawn liquid dish soap and a toothbrush and scrub and, and then slather with petroleum jelly. So that's what we did. And then, of course, further reading because, you know, we're newbies. And this is our learning process. That's why we're projecting these videos out and hoping we'll get advice and learn from others and just help us grow our homestead so we can have healthy animals. So, and this was a three-day treatment. The other one was a week or so. Yeah, a lot longer. Yeah. So we will dip and slather. Okay, so here we go. So just hold them securely so they're not scared. You're just dipping in as far as we can go. I'm trying to get at least up halfway to the leg and then out. Give it a little shake <laughs> and let them air dry. And while we're waiting to air dry, um, I'm just gonna pet them through them. Poor guy, he's a little scared. We think this is our male, our only one black Hopefully. male. Hopefully. You can see our earlier video of us hilariously trying to decide if they're girls or boys. Hopefully that little old school test works out. That'd be pretty easy to do when you go to buy chickens. Just hang them upside down. Once he's dry. That's our dog that's running by, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> Once he's dry, we'll slap. Thank you, fella. Their curiosity <laughs> gets the best of them. Slather with A&D ointment. This is to soothe and heal. I don't remember them shaking last time. You think they're cold? They might be Should cold. We, let's shut up tonight. The only reason I haven't is because yes. of the gas smell. That's why I had it cranked oh, small. Poor little boy. Because he could move here. into our house. Excuse me? We could move him into our house? No. No? No, it's the reason I live for bigger girls and drove a little further is because I don't want baby chickens in my garage during winter. Well, <laughs> over that. They first lived in our pantry. Yeah, not anymore. No. Hi, little fella. Okay, once he's dry, we're going to slather. So just kind of rub it all in. He's got a nice little chicken pedicure here. And that's supposed to help actually soften the scales for healing. The uh, gasolines would actually killed the mites. And then there was another thing that they said was in them, like these. Start with an N. I think it was like the babies of the mites. Nits. Nits, that's mm -hmm. right. That's the, the eggs and stuff, the small. And, and they're hard to kill. The gasoline okay. actually kills the nits and the mites. Mm -hmm. And mites, I, we've been reading, that you don't actually see. Your, uh, they only come out at night and suck on them. So we'll see if that's true. So, of course, we also treated their little sick bay with DE at the bottom. Uh, I've been doing just some garlic, apple cider, and oregano in their feed just to boost immunity. So hopefully they don't get any type of secondary infections, anything like that. Like uh, if you get them out of their environment for the mites and use DE when they get in a new spot, the, the mites will go away and it will be fine. So hopefully that will work. Yeah, some garlic.